Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with match number two with Generator Jund. Yes, we'd like to play first, as that's exactly what our deck wants to do. Oh, we have no, we have no uh, Generator Servant or Seder Hedonist in this hand, but I think it's fine. We have the Ogre Battle Driver. If we hit into like perfect land drops, we can actually still go the Colonial Hydra. I'm going to keep this. And he mulligans, uh, but keeps his six. So that's good news for us. I think we just go over the Overgrown Tomb and play tapped. And pass the turn back to him. Again, we have the Karyatid. Uh, Temple of Triumph. This might be, this could be a ton of different decks. It could be, I mean, even the UI control is using Temple of Triumph. So have not a clue what we're up against. There is an Underworld Cerberus. Another good card if we can just hit. A couple of lands here. I think I'm going to increase my land cat up to 24. I think that we really need to hit land drops. And being 23 is too greedy. And I know I have like Sylvan Karyatids and whatnot. But it's probably not enough. Because right here I have to land. And I, I, I do, but unfortunately it is a scry land. So we definitely want this on top. Because we can actually go for a... Depends on what he plays here, what we play. Because I, I don't think I can safely put out an Ogre Battle Driver at this point. Archetype of Aggression. I think what we do here is we just Colonial Hydra and say deal with it. Because I'm not even sure he can deal with this. It's going to be a few turns. He's a Nihilist. Archetype. What does Archetype use with a Nihilist? Ni ni the, the Nihilist uh, has... Uh, we'll see here. A Perforos. Alright. Yep, it's going to be hopefully quick work here. I mean, he can still do crazy stuff, I'm sure. Every deck in standard can. Urborg to me, Yogmoth. That means I can leave back a blocker. I kind of just want to go an Ogre Battle Driver here. Um... But, of course, doubling a doubler is probably the right way to go. So I'm going to have two 8-8s eight because it's going to double all the counters on my guys. And, again, it's just, I don't know, a lot of people do this and they don't understand that, that my Hydra has, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, 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 Archetype makes me lose Trample. What a jerk card. I forgot Archetypes do that. So, yeah. That was a good block on his part, I guess. But, I mean, he's still in bad shape. I got two Colonial Hydras. Two 8-8s eight that are going to become 32-32s uh, next turn. You can Banishing Light one of them. Okay, so he's going to be able to Banishing Light one of the Colonial Hydras. And then proceed to die to... No, I can do 18 damage with the Ogre Battle Driver. Seder Hedonist ramps up one, so I could go... I think that actually does it. So we're going to go Ogre Battle Driver. Seder Hedonist. And that's going to be exactly 20. Alrighty, so that was a pretty... Again, this is what the deck does. Um, <laughs> Reclamation Sage, I, need, I, I want at least a one of to kill Banishing Lights. I think that I bring in more. I'm thinking Corsair Crew Fix is in there. I'm not even sure, but I know the archetypes are in there. Citizen Tactics actually seems pretty decent. And now that I know he's a creature based deck, I think Shadowborn Demons gain a lot of viability. So... Again, I, this Life's Legacy is more of a cyborg card. I'm not sure exactly how to utilize it. Same with Rakdos' Return. So three cards that I'd have to take out. I like I like two Dreadbores and a Flesh Blood with the Shadowborn Demons. But is there really anything that I, I care about Dreadboring off when I have the Reclamation Sages and whatnot? So I think I'm going to take out... I'm going to go down to... Since I'm bringing in enough Reclamation Sages and whatnot, I'm going to take out the Court of Callings. They seem a little bit slow. I, again, I don't know exactly how to utilize this card. So I can bring in either a Dreadbore. Uh, I can bring in a One of Domri. I can bring in a Cetus. I'm going to bring in a One of Domri, and we'll submit this.
Definitely keepable hand, especially against what we're um, facing. Uh, another creature-based deck with Sylvan Caritids in our hand is is pretty ideal, as it's going to be able to ramp us up to the Underworld Cerberus. I'd actually like to see a Scryland off the top here. Hey, look at that. So now we can scry. Hopefully we scry away a land. A BT at this point is probably not necessary. It doesn't do much. We don't need to stop an aggression. Like another reason I like the Burning Shrenisary in this deck is it is huge roadblocks against like the the bat, the ogre uh, or not ogre the the goblin goblin rabble master type decks or any other decks like that. Didn't like to see that that other scry land, but more lands the merrier I guess at this point. We'll go carry tit here. And he's a little bit slow because of the, the Elvish Mystic coming out of turn late. He has he can generate four mana here. He can get a Plukronos. Which Xanagos is actually pretty good. But I don't know how well it's gonna. Save him here. Well, we're going to definitely put that on top. Any massive creature is, is exactly what we want to see in this deck. So we have two blockers for his, his Xanagos. We do need to do something about Xanagos. I think we still go Colonial Hydra over Underworld Cerberus because of Banishing Light. I don't want to blossom, so he is, he is an enchantment, sort of nigh enchantment-ish value deck, I guess. He's going to put in another thing with Xanagos. And I might need to Shadowborn Demon. And Shadowborn Demon can actually live one more turn if we... Yeah, I think that's the right line of play. Okay, so he's going to generate some mana. Uh, and he has four mana, which is pretty good. So he can go like a, a, a Corsair or another Island of Blossoms or Heliod, which draws him a card. And I think I need to get rid of that Idol of Blossoms. So I'm going to shock myself. Just so I can keep up a blocker. I guess I didn't need to do that. And Eidolon got it uh, two cards already, so... Yikes. But, I mean, next turn we can actually... If he doesn't have a way to kill the Shadowborn Demon, we can actually uh, kill Xenagos. And he's got plenty of lands. He can generate an obscene amount of mana here. See the banishing lights off the Shadowborn Demon. Archetype of Courage. So first gives everything. Uh, he's like an yeah, an archetype of enchantment deck. We need Reclamation Sages big time. And the thing is, we have two turns. We can we can use the Shadowborn Demon. Again, he can generate a. a Good deal of mana. He tapped all his white, though, so I don't have to worry about a Banishing Light. And I don't have to worry about a Heliod. I don't know exactly what the tapping all the planes was about. Maybe we'll find out here. But, yep, he's going to go up again. So we need to, we need to kill Xenagos here. For probably like a Perforos is going to come out. Corsair Crew Fix. Uh, Boon Seder on his on his own Seder. Well, I could keep my guy alive, but I'm still an okay amount of life. So I'm gonna kill the Sylvan Caritid here. As, you know, that's actually a pretty good card of Master Cruelties. As it kills everything. It can trade with that Seder, so... Xenagos needs to die here, though. And again, I think that Carrington might have to jump block in into the Seder. 
Or I might just need a Colonial Hydra here. I'm going to give myself a defensive blocker in the form of Master Cruelties. And if I draw into a Flesh Blood, we can still do that Flesh Blood combo. The, the uh, scary thing is that the Heliod is actually pretty close to becoming active. I do have a Shadowborn uh, Demon he's got to deal with if he puts out another Planeswalker. It's going to be an Idol on a Blossoms. Those are annoying. So maybe I just bring in the, the, all the Court of Callings and we just play like a control type list against this shenanigans. So I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of okay with taking another six because do I trade here? First Strike Vigilance. I don't think I do. He's going to have to block with the Master Cruelties here. I think I just take six. And that way I keep up two major blockers. Put this into play tapped. I think I'm going to attack in. Does not have first strike. That is terrible. Yeah, that's that's no good. That is no good at all. As ugh, archetypes. So it loses the first strike. Just has death touch. I think Mr. Cerberus needs to come in and play defense here. I'm dead to a am I dead to a Helio? Not quite. If Helio becomes active. But I definitely will throw the Shadowmorn Demon under the bus here against the Seder. Irios, which still doesn't quite... What does it make it do? Two or more creatures have to block it. And that just wins the game. And an Archetype gives it... So I'd have to block, block... And there's no way, I'm down to four, so there's no way I can actually do enough. Yep. All right. So, again, he got the ramp out that time. I think maybe Court of Callings just come in because, I, like I said, Reclamation Sages seem pretty good. And Dreadboars need to come back in. If he's going to uh, do, like, synergistic creatures, maybe we bring in, like, Domries and we just fight everything. So, uh, Hedonist, well, we're on the play, though. Setus and Tactics actually seems pretty good, too. We're just going to fight everything down. Reclamation Sages are good. Colonial Hydras might not be that great if we're going to go for this type of route. I mean, Ogre Battle Drivers, all of these things just seem very good. Domries, maybe not. Not so much. Solar Chandelar can just win the game by itself. Master Cruelties is great with the Death Touch. So it's three cards we need to get it rid of here. I'm going to get rid of two Hedonists for sure. And, again, Court of Callings probably are not necessary. I'm going to get rid of an Underworld Cerberus. And we will we'll play this. Yes, I'd like to play first. Yes, I'd like to mulligan. Yes, I'd like to keep this. Uh, this is fine. Not the greatest hand, but definitely not. That's a, This is actually pretty good. Especially with that. So, again, if we draw into... Elan, I might take the safer out here, go Burning Tremister into Zyrtaw Druid. No, we'll go Generator Serve it. And just pray for land. We have two draws to, or no, one draw after this to draw land. But we've, we've got the Dread Boar. We can actually just aggro him down with. With uh, the Generator Servant and the Burning Tree. Because his deck is kind of awkward with uh, the three colors as well. He's got two. I mean, it really was the blue. Or, the, excuse me, the green that accelerated him. So, again, we draw land here. We do not. So, it's going to be just attacking with both. And next turn, we will have that Underworld Cerberus. 
if we care. So fleece main lion. Now I do believe we care. No, we're just going to dread bore that. I'm just going to play the aggro route. He, he's... Underworld Cerberus does six. Ah, oh, no. No, we definitely need to Cerberus here. Oh, I can't Cerberus. I am missing a land. I am missing a... And I can't, I can't even Dreadbore here either. Well, that's a shame. Yep. Oh, this, this forest. This is just not good. Not good at all. And fighting the Fleece Man would be too difficult with two things. Yep. Yep, that's, that's, again, this is, I guess, running the basic forest. Is, if this was a mana confluence, we'd be fine. If this was a, a land more waste, we'd be fine. So maybe the forests do need to be replaced. Uh, as I think we're going to end up losing this game because of, of uh, not being able to deal with a, uh, a fleece main lion here, which could have been dreadboard. Yeah, that sucks. So we desperately need to land here. Interesting attack. I don't know why you'd attack. I think you play blocker at this point. Unless he's got an archetype that's coming out here. Another fleece main lion. A land, which could do another fleece main lion if he does that. Elvish mystic. Okay. Oh, it actually passed a turn. That was, uh, sometimes I just get so. Do you know what? I might actually want to set a syntactics here and kill off a Fleece Main Lion and an Elvish Mystic. Definitely want to put that on top. Again, it's at this point, that's fine because I can actually generate. Yeah, I think that's the right move. He should be down to 13 if I wasn't moronic and didn't uh, tap that in a turn. But anyway, set us in tactics on the Burning Tremissary and the Generator Servant. And we'll pass the turn. And we have a Colonial Hydra that's coming out next turn with the Generator Servant. So we should be okay. Again, he's got to find an answer for it. Which is an idol on a blossom, it's annoying. But I think Colonial Hydra is a little bit better unless he's got a Banishing Light. I mean, he can still Dread Bore off stuff. But I think we just go for it. As this is going to get in there for probably eight. But Banishing Light, of course, is going to be our downfall. Other than he is kind of on a clock here. At five. And we've got Dread Boars. We can just keep the Zyrta Druid and ourselves alive for a few turns here. This will be four. So I'm not going to pass this this turn. No Banishing Light. Keep going. Oh, Banishing Light. And he gets to draw a card off of it. So that, that hiccup in the land again is the, the difference between winning and losing this game. That Eidolon is very powerful. Yeah, he's going to be able to play multiple spells per turn. I'm going to take five here. No. Interesting, he doesn't. Good news is I have a play next turn. And he didn't have another play there, so I don't know what the four cards in his hand is. That is going to be very good as it allows us to get out a Underworld Cerberus, which now he's got to find an answer for. Well, 
which you can flash in a boon Seder. And that drew him a card as well. I mean, he's got a very efficient deck. I just got to worry about a... He can't change the rocks. It's got to be the other Banishing Light. Which he Lightning Strikes off a... A Zyrta Druid. And has an Archetype. The Archetype isn't the greatest here. Because we're just going to Dread Bore it. Why? He's tapped out, isn't he? Yeah, that was... Uh, what happened there? Okay, I don't understand what just happened. Why did he attack him with the Fleece Main Lion? He would have been fine if he didn't. We're going to Dreadbore off the, the Moon Seder here. And then he has to lose everything. So if we, if we didn't do the Boon Seder, then he could block with all of them and I'd lose my Underworld Cerberus. But this way he's still got to block with all of them. And he can't first strike it off. And I don't lose my Underworld Cerberus. So, yeah, that would have been an awkward with the Fleece Main Lion if you would have kept it back. I would have had to Dreadbore off the Archetype of Courage. I would have lost my Underworld's, uh, Underworld's Cerberus and he would have got everything back. But this is going to win the game because of that Fleece Main Lion attack. As he's going to lose all of his dudes... And, I mean, he still has three cards in hand, though. This is anything but over. Eidolon's nice. Gets him a card. And that is game. So, yep, yeah, I think he might have been able to pull that off um, if I wasn't able to kill off the, the Boon Seder there. Uh, let's see what we would have drawn into in a couple turns. We need another land. There's a generous servant, Carotid. Wow, we are a lot. So right now I'm going to actually go to the collection here. I'm going to see. We need one more land. I mean, what's the weakest card so far in the deck? I think Rakdos Return needs to go into the sideboard. And we can cut like a Court of Calling. I think that three copies is fine. They've been, they've been very underwhelming. Maybe even two copies is fine. We can put like another, another uh, decent card like a Dreadbore or something in the sideboard. But I'm just going to add like a Lano or Waste. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll go buy a copy and add one Lano or Waste or a... Some sort of, maybe another Blood Crypt. I'm just going to put another Blood Crypt here and we'll call that good and then see how well the 24 lands works i think that we we desperately need to hit that five drop so we need to yeah this didn't cut for whatever reason okay so cut the quarter calling we have domri domri rectus and dread bore yeah two quarter callings main board that's fine i think uh we're gonna we're gonna keep this one card i'm thinking about too is scuttling doom engine i think that'd be a pretty cool card anyway we will play a few more games here. 2-0 so far. This is Kevin with, with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.